Hello everybody, this is M-M-A-S-M-R, and I'm back today with new nails that are very unusual color scheme. They're teal green and lavender purple and red and gold with a little tiny bit of silver. So I hope you like them. And yes, in case you're wondering, my toes are exactly the same. Even the little tiny ones. So, today we are going to do some color tests and eye tests. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to show you a new piece of art. So if you're interested in the art, watch to the end of the video. But now we are going to get into some of the colors. So I have this chart here. And I'm going to get the MM stick, and I'm going to point to a specific letter, and I want you to tell me what is the letter and what is the color. So what letter is this, and what color is it? It's a red Q, yes. And this, what is the letter and color? A gray A, yes. And what is the letter and color here? A purple I. Excellent. And how about this? What is the letter and color? A green K. Mm-hmm. And how about this? What is this letter and color? A pink D. Excellent. And what is this letter and color? Mm-hmm. It's a green or a teal J, yes. And this one? What is this letter and color? A yellow C, yep. And this? What is this letter and color? A red T. Mm hmm And how about this? What is this letter and color? A pink P, yes. Can you see the difference between this pink and this pink? Is this one darker or lighter? This one's darker, excellent. And what is this letter or color? A black eye, uh-huh. And what is this letter and color? It's a brown O. Yes, very, very good. You had no trouble with that at all. So now I'm going to show you this and I want you to tell me can you see any differences between these colors? So are these three colors all the same or are they different? Are these three colors the same or different? One, two, three. They are the same. Yes. Are these three colors the same or different? There's one different. The bottom one, yes. Are these three colors, are they all the same, or is one different? Okay, the top one's different, excellent. How about down here? Are these all the same, or are they different? These are the same, yes. Are these all the same, or are they different? The top one's different, excellent. And these? Are these all the same, or are they different? They're all the same, yep. And are these all the same or are they different? The middle one's different, yep. How about this one? The same, yep. This one? And the same, yep. This one? Top one's different, excellent. And how about this one? Top one's different. Yes. Very, very good. And now I have this. And I want you to tell me, is this circle bigger or smaller than this circle? This one's bigger, yes. And is this circle bigger or smaller than this circle? This one's smaller, yes. And is this one bigger or smaller than this one? This one's bigger. Mm -hmm. And is this one bigger or smaller than this one? It 
it's a little bit smaller, yes. And is this one bigger or smaller than this one? It's bigger, yep. And is this one bigger or smaller than this one? It's smaller, yes. Very, very good. Oh, and all together, how many circles are there? Count them very carefully. How many circles are there on this paper? Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Very good. There's thirteen circles on this paper. You had no trouble with that either. So now we have this chart. So this chart has definitely seen better days, I know. But this chart depicts some animals on it. So I'm going to point randomly, and I want you to tell me what animal you see on the chart. So right here, what is this animal? It's a duck, yes. And here, what is this animal? Mm-hmm, it's a snail, very good. How about this one? What's this one? A rabbit, yes. And what is this one? Mm-hmm, a horse. And this one? A cat, very good. How about this one? This might be a little bit tricky. It's a seal, yes. Go down here, what is this one? A butterfly, yep. And how about this one? Can you see what this is? It's a dog. It's a large dog, yes. And let's go way down here. What is this one? It's a butterfly, yes. And can you see this far down? What is this one? A duck, yes. Can you tell me what this whole line is? This line here? What is this? A duck, yep. Yeah. Butterfly, mm-hmm. Cat, very good. Snail, yes. Horse, excellent. Seal, yeah. And a dog, excellent. And what is this one? We'll start going this direction. A dog, uh -huh. a rabbit, a cat, a butterfly, a snail, a seal, a dog, and a horse. Very good. And what number is this? Mm -hmm, it's four. What number is this? Nine, very good. This one? Ten, yeah. And this one? One, yeah. And this one? Three. Very, very good. So, so far we're doing fantastically. So now, I just want you to tell me, what is the color? Ignore the word. Just tell me what is the color. So what color is this? Black, yes. And what color is this? Mm -hmm. Purple. What color is this? Yellow, yes. What color is this? Green, yep. And this one, what color is this? Blue, excellent. What color is this? Mm -hmm. Red, this one. Green, yes, this one. Yellow, yep, this one. Yellow again, this one. Orange, yep, this one. Blue, yes, this one. Black, yep yellow and red. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You had no trouble with that either. So now I have some colors here. Red, yellow, green, blue, and black. So in total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven in total. So one could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Seven colors. Seven. So, I'm going to take these away. 
and I'm going to mix them up. And then I am randomly going to lay one down. And I want you to guess what color is this one? What color is this one? Think about it. Consider what color is this one? What color is this one? And then I'm going to lay a second one down. And what color do you think this one is? Let me go upside down. What color do you think this one is? And what color is this one? What color is on the right? And what color is on the left? Think about it. Think about it. We'll start with this one. What color do you think this is? Five, four, three, two, one. It is blue. Did you guess that right? Okay. And what color do you think this one is? Five, four, three, two, one. It's brown. Did you have that one right? Okay. Very good. So double them brown. Put them to the side. So now, put this one in. What color do you think this one is? Take a guess. Take a guess. Five, four, three, two, one. This one is black. Did you guess that correct? Okay. And now I'm going to put two more down. Which color do you think is this one? And what color do you think is this one? Let's begin with this side. Let's begin with the right. What color do you think this is? Five, four, three, two, one. What color do you think this is? yellow. So if this one's yellow, what color do you think this one is? Five, four, three, two, one. Green. So yellow and green. Yellow and green. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this one in. What color do you think this one is? Take a guess. What color do you think? Five, four, three, two, one. It's red, excellent. And considering that this is red, we only have one color left. So what color have we not seen yet? I can turn this one this way. What color haven't we seen yet? Do you know what color this is? Take a guess, take a guess. Five, four, three, Two, one. Purple. Excellent. Did you guess all of those? Okay, good. So now we have one last portion of this eye exam before I show you my art. And that is this little chart. So let's go through it. And I want you to tell me everything that you see. What is this? In the ears, what is this? Lips or lipstick, yeah, this. An arm, mm hmm this. A nose, very good. What is this? A table, mm -hmm. what is this? Mm-hmm, a bed. And this? A beach ball, yep. And this? A chair, excellent. And what is this? A swimsuit, yep. What is this? An umbrella, yep. What are these? Knitting, do you know what this is? This looks like a vase, but it's not. This is actually a, a surfboard. Mm. How about here, what is this? A lamp, yep. What is this? A candle, yep. What is this? A bumblebee, yep. And this? A flashlight or a torch, yes. What about this, what is this? Lemon. What is this? Chocolate. What is this? Cake. Yep. What is this? A candy cane. Okay. So now we have one, two, three, four, five rows here. And you're going to notice that there is an odd image out in every row. So if we focus on this row, the flashlight or the torch, 
the bee, the candle, and the lamp. Which one doesn't go in this group? And why? Which one is the odd one out? Mm -hmm. The bumblebee is the odd one out because all the other items give light. All of these other objects will give you light. A flashlight or a torch, a candle and a lamp all emit light. A bumblebee is an insect that makes honey, so it doesn't belong in this group. Now let's go up here. Between the table, the bed, the chair, and the ball, which is the odd one out? And why? The ball, yes, because the ball is not a piece of furniture. All the other things are. Now moving down to this one. Between the candy cane, the cake, the candy bar, and the lemon. Which is the odd one out? Yes, the lemon. Because the lemon is not a dessert or a sweet. Mm -hmm. And then up to this one. Between the surfboard, the mittens, the umbrella, and the swimsuit. Which is the odd one out? Yes, the mittens. Because all of these other things belong at the beach in the summer and or warm weather. And mittens are for colder weather. Yes. And finally the trickiest one up here. Out of all of these, which is the odd one out and why? This is a little trickier because they all are the body parts. But this would be the odd one out. Because this is showing an arm with a sleeve or a cuff. Whereas the others are just showing the body part without any clothing or adornment. You'll notice that the ear has no earring, for instance. That's very good. And Overall, how many images do you see on this paper? How many images? How many objects are on this paper? Mm -hmm. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty images. So you did very well, and if you're here just for the traditional eye exam, then that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in seeing more art, keep watching, because I'm about to show it to you. So this is a new piece. It's very crazy. It's meant to hang on a wall, even though it's not on the wall right now. And this piece is called Harlequin's Editor. So this piece is made up of clay and canvas and blocks and rhinestones which are acrylic and this is paint these are all this is hand painted clay this and this and there's some beads in it and then we have polymer clay and found objects like the bottle caps and when you turn this over there's other rhinestones hiding like that gold one there and it sticks out of a wall about a full seven inches and you'll see that this one is a very unusual color scheme it's black white gold and red which look lovely together but unusually accented with a lavender purple and this teal green color and it's very unusual to pair these colors together but i think it works so this piece has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rhinestones on this layer. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's two little purple ones, rhinestones hiding in this hand sculpted and that hand painted um, sculpture. And then we have a whole mix of colors of whites and reds and purples and aquas in this polymer clay piece. We have kind of a black and red and gold separating them. Um, kind of a, almost like a chess piece set separating the side. And we have one, two, three, four, five rhinestones there. And then we have polymer clay hiding in the bottom here on top of um, this multi-layered gold. So there's this is not just a uniform gold, there's little splashes of various shades of gold here 
and the polymer clay piece is gold and white and black and then we have on the sides we have aqua on the side here with a white base and then we have red squares and black circles for rhinestones and then we have a little gold rhinestone hiding there and a gold rhinestone hiding here so you see them oh, and we have a gold one hiding there and then a gold one hiding there so you see them when they're on the wall and then inside the red bottle cap we have red and black and gold and white polymer clay hand sculpted pieces and then these little red squares that are very shiny we have little pearls that are white and as you can see they're three-dimensional black dot pearls and they're accented with black dots and the rhinestones are propped up on top of the purple with beads that are the same aqua color as a lot of the painting and then some of the purple stones are propped up with kind of like purple beads so it's all very very uniform and then we have another little polymer clay piece there that's white and gold and black and then even here we have the same kind of chessboard pattern almost except more diamond shape and it's purple and aqua and then it's separated by gold just like up here but it's also got black line accents it's not exactly perfectly um, symmetrical but these are hand done and they're abstract so it's not supposed to be perfect perfect this is a black bottle cap it used to be a, on a nutella bottle i painted it black and it's got little ridges around the side now it lives here and it houses the sculpture which is hand handcrafted and as you can see it's white and the white is very very um shimmery it's kind of a like a uh, a pearlescent white with red and black and purple and aqua and gold accents so we have lines and we have dots and it's very very fabulous looking <laughs> so this piece does hang on a wall it's even got these little red um blocks just to prop it up when it's hanging on a wall it, it is wired to hang completely straight on a wall and then when you walk by it you will see the shock of it <laughs> sticking out of the wall um it's not that big it's only about 10 inches but maybe seven inches but it pops out of the wall seven inches as well and again it's called harlequin's editor i hope that you enjoyed it thank you for watching this video and i will see you in future videos bye good night and sweet dreams